minds I think we have done it all She knows me in and out Love of a different kind But we still have no control Cause when the day I Good morning you guys so today i am going to london so i thought i would vlog it i actually think i might vlog like the whole week um because it's just a lot on um so today i'm going to london staying the night and um, then back and i have a ton of work and then we're heading to wales so thought i'd take you guys along for as much of it as i can and um, this is actually so we're going to the chelsea flower show which is super exciting it never been before this is actually my friend's birthday present from I think it was two years ago um, and then COVID hit and just being delayed and delayed. So we're finally doing it. And it's so crazy to see like how much has changed because when we booked it, I still lived in London. Um, my friend whose birthday present is, she lived in a different house. My other friend's pregnant now, just so much craziness. Um, but thought I'd take you guys along because I heard the Chelsea Flower Show is supposed to be lovely. So fingers crossed it is. A quick outfit of the day. So I think it should be fairly nice in London. So wearing this midi skirt, um, one of my favorite bodysuits, Saint Laurent bag, and I'm also going to take a jacket with me as well. So we've just checked into the hotel and it's the cutest thing so this one is the bathroom and we're staying uh in knightsbridge you have all these adorable books over here and then walking through they have all these gorgeous textiles so the wardrobe is kind of like a hidden one over here and then you have this amazing headboard these adorable cushions little sofa area and these gorgeous curtains over here, so cute. And the view is a typical London view of some townhouses, standard. It does all look really, really cute though. Right, we're here. So um, we're just stopping for some drinks, um, getting a coffee and some pims, and then we're going to continue our walkabout. Okay, so we have our pims, and now I think we're going in search of some more gardens, but it's absolutely massive here. stops at the hotel and um, just came back from the flower show and now we're gonna have a drink downstairs and then go out to dinner we have reservations in about half an hour so we have to be quick um but yeah there was just so much to see and do that time kind of ran away from us 
Good morning you guys, so it is the next morning, you can probably tell from my voice, I just woke up and I realised I have to meet my friends downstairs for breakfast because one of them has to dash off to work so it's a bit of an early start and I went to sleep quite late last night but that's okay, um, I am just wearing the same dress I wore when I came to London last time because I realised it was completely crease proof which is amazing for travel so this is now my go-to travel dress and we're going to head downstairs, or I'm going to head downstairs and get some breakfast. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Alright, so just about to um, head out, but I wanted to show you the rooms in daylight because it was a little bit grainy last night. It is so, so cute. So, if you guys watch my London vlog, this is like a sister property to that one. Monica Veneta, how beautiful. Hey guys, so back at home now. Oh my goodness, I was white yesterday. It wasn't even like a particularly long travel day. I came back at like mid afternoon, so I was back home by like I think six, uh, but travel just completely exhausts me even when it's not actually that bad. So I pretty much just kind of lay on the couch last night. I didn't really do anything, um, but it was needed because like super, super busy day today. Um, so managed to get up quite early and gone quite a bit done. Had some calls this morning. Um, and then today we are also working on our Christmas tree store as well. Super random I know, for those of you who don't know, we have a Christmas tree store and we're having to open early this year because as many of you might have heard, there are shortages of pretty much everything in the UK, um, and that includes Christmas trees, unfortunately, so we've been inundated with requests for pre-orders, and so usually we would open at like kind of maybe late October, early November, whereas this year we're having to like open way, way before that to kind of cope with everything. So trying to tackle all that today, um, and yeah, just try to get on top of everything before heading to Wales. Um, I am gonna show you guys what I got from the Chelsea Flower Show as well. It was so, so nice. I really didn't know what to expect, but it was just such a lovely day out and so many cute like stalls and obviously the beautiful gardens, um, but I got a couple of bits, so I will show you what I got. All right, so showing you guys what I got from the Chelsea Flower Show. So again, I didn't get too much, um, but they had loads of just really cute stalls for homeware and gardening things, obviously, but it was just really, really nice to look through. So got these cute little notes. I always have little notes or thank you cards, um, particularly for like, you know, giveaway prizes or bag sales. I always like to include a note and I thought these were so cute. Um, they're just kind of one page like cards, but you get a little envelope and they had this really, really lovely little cake print. I thought they were super, super cute. And then one of our favorites, so cute for Port, we absolutely love her and got this lovely like tea towel. Um, so this one is actually for Dan's mum. I got one for my mum as well, but I've already given that to her. I don't want to open it and like ruin the, the packaging, but it's very cute. You have little hedgehogs and this beautiful floral print, really, really lovely. And then I also got Dan's mum um, this beautiful mug again in the box, but I did get myself one as well. So I can show you that one. And it has the loveliest print. So I think they produce like a different print every year, but I thought this one was so cute. So I've already used it this morning for my tea. Um, but yeah, really lovely.
Also want to show you these handbag liners. So many of you will know that I've been on a hunt for a handbag liner for my Chanel 19 bag. Um, this one obviously isn't that. This is for my Nerve 4, but Bunchy recommended a handbag angel. So I actually had their tab open. So I was like about to order one and they messaged me and they were so nice. They sent me this one, which is for my Nerve 4. So the one with the arm prom, which has a blue lining. So perfectly matches. And then this one is for my 19. So again, perfectly matched the gray. Um, I do like to kind of match the interiors to the bag if I can. Um, so this looks like it's gonna be a great match. This one is one pockets inside, but no side reinforcers. And then this one has the side reinforcers. So I think it's supposed to give it a little bit more shape. Okay, so it's in. I did try and do it with one hand, but it didn't really happen. Um, but absolutely perfect fit. And it's just really, really lovely. Tension seat is lovely as well, that little A for angels. Um, but has a really pretty kind of um, edge and then the two pockets. This one is the one with the side reinforcer and you can tell like it makes a really, really big difference. Um, base is also nice and sturdy as well. And I do think it's gonna help kind of keep it shaped because it is a fairly soft bag. So, I mean, I don't know whether you'll be able to tell, but it already just feels like just a little bit more structured. Um, so yeah, these are great. So that's the kind of side view and it just makes such a difference. Like it just feels so much sturdier um, without losing like the smushiness. So really happy with these. Um, I will link them down below if you also have a 19 bag and wanted a shaper. This one is just like exactly what I wanted. Also, I feel like I'm just 110% procrastinating now, but I just got a couple of orders in from Lou Lemon and Revolve. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Very excited about all things awesome. And so very much delving into the autumn colors, but I'll do a quick trial now. All right, so the first item is this gorgeous puffer jacket. I was absolutely just swayed by the color. I got two sizes in this one. Um, I think this one is the smaller size. So I feel like this is fine. And um, there's definitely enough width and the arms are quite long. So I don't want them to be any longer, but it is so cuddly and soft. Such a pretty kind of autumnal shade. You do have like a really giant hood, like, huge um but really toasty but at the same time it's just like very very lightweight just really soft and oh so excited about this love it and this is what it looks like just zipped up this one is the cropped version um i wanted the cropped one just because i love their kind of crop styles um but they do do a full length version as well i think but super happy with this crop style and it is so crazy soft and then these leggings, I think are their new ones. Um, I've heard like so much about them and that they're even softer than the Align. So I wanted to give them a go. I'm like a diehard fan of the Align and I absolutely see what the hype is about. Like they are so silky smooth. I love the seam as well, very similar to the Unlimits. But I feel like they have like a little bit more compression than the Unlimits. So really nice, kind of like that airbrush effect so comfy um i do feel like they hold you in as well though which is really nice i don't know if you'll be able to see that but there's like a pocket on the back so like if you're a runner um or just like to have pockets in general i feel like these would be ideal um i only work out from home so i'm less fussed about the pocket but they are just so nice they feel like amazing and then the last thing I got was this hoodie. I've spoken about these before. They're like my favorite thing from Lululemon, um, but just so toasty. Like it does have a fleece lining. So they're really, really comfy and cozy. Love the crop length. And I basically just can't resist the colors. Um, so I already have two. The gray hoodie I was just wearing is also the style. Um, I just got this one in the navy. Really, really comfy and cozy. Love the zip. Just love pretty much everything about it. And this is how it looks just with the sleeves down. You do have like this little area as well to um, put your thumbs through. And yeah, I just absolutely love these. Uh, I will link everything down below. And I'll also pop in my sizes uh, if you're curious. But yeah, super happy with these. So this is the first top that I got in from Revolve. I am loving the kind of brown florals. I think they're so pretty and such a nice way to wear florals for awesome as well. Um, this one has like a puff sleeve on the top. I need to tuck in the little tag thing. Um, and then it has these beautiful like floaty sleeves um, and they're kind of cinched in right here. And the body is like this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that. But it's like this kind of ruched um, effect around here. So it's like fairly structured around the body there's a beautiful square neckline and i just thought this was so nice 
so it kind of is fairly short i would say um so perfect for tucking in if you don't want that extra bulk yeah absolutely love this one really really pretty just a really girly cute top Okay, so next up I got this sweater, which I am so obsessed with. I love it. It's this beautiful kind of um, like burgundy wine color. Got a fair bit of stretch to it and it's lovely like off the shoulder style. So this really lovely neckline and then it is like a proper sweater, but it's more of a cropped one. Um, so you can kind of easily tuck it into jeans, skirts, like whatever you want. So these are the sleeves. So like a proper knit sweater, but I love the fact that the neckline is just like a little bit fancier and just so lovely. The color is absolutely beautiful. That's like the whole view of it. Um, yeah, really, really lovely. And then finally, this top that I also got. I love a good, just like beautiful black top that fits well. This one has ribbing and I'm always like very kind of skeptical of ribbing because Sometimes it's really flattering and sometimes it's really not. Um, whereas this one is lovely. It's the kind that like just skims rather than clings. Um, and it's quite short as well. So like not like a lot of length. So really nice for tucking in. The neckline is absolutely beautiful. Very similar to uh, my bodysuit, but the bodysuit has like a bit more of like a wider neckline. And obviously it's a bodysuit, whereas this one is just a top, but really pretty, perfect for tucking into these kind of jeans and just like the loveliest, stretchiest thing. All right, so this is the full view. I just absolutely love this top and so comfy as well, just like really lovely. Um, but yeah, so about to have some food now because we're very, very hungry and then probably just settle down for the night because it's just been a crazy, crazy day. Hey guys, so today is Saturday and we are about to head out the door because we are going to Wales today. So my brother was so sweet and for my birthday, he got me a little one night trip to Wales. So we are going to meet up with him. I think we're meeting in Chester because I think that's kind of like halfway between us. And then we're all gonna drive together down to Wales. So hopefully the weather will be nice. I think it might rain, um, but fingers crossed that it will be nice. It is so soon after the last trip though, so I literally didn't even unpack. Like I literally went from like one bag to the other. Just being very, very busy indeed. Um, but for my travel outfit, just kept it really casual. Um, just long, uh, slightly oversized camel sweater, some of my leggings, and then just some sneakers, and my trusty Mulberry Mini Alexa. It is a bit of a long drive. I think all in all, it's like three and a half hours. So wanted to be comfy, um, but I'll change for dinner tonight. Alright, we made it to Wales, finally. Took two hours longer than we thought, but finally made it. Really, really pretty. Um, we're just having some drinks. breakfast, full Englishes, sit for sausage and toast, <laughs> and I just went for avocado toast and some coffee. All right, so we just finished up breakfast. This is like the tiniest mirror in the world, so apologies, I'm like huddled in the corner. Um, but just finished up breakfast and we're gonna head out now, go and check out and then go exploring in the local villages. So I'm just wearing um, black cami, black skirt, and then some sneakers because we are going to be walking a lot today. So just walking into the little town. It's so cute. Bit of a gloomy day, but we're hoping it's going to brighten up. Alright, so just about to get something to eat. 
apparently in the queue because of no bucking system, but it looks absolutely adorable. This is just the cutest thing. Thank you. Oh my goodness, Matthew. I mean, it looks amazing. That's the most enormous thing ever. <laughs> so I think my brother went for fish and chips, um, chicken, nuggets, actually, panini. And then I went for Hunter's chicken, which is rather a massive as well. All right, so just in the car now, and sorry if it's a little bit wobbly, um, but say goodbye to my brother, finished up lunch. It was such a nice little break, just like a little bit of a mini one, um, but yeah, really nice. Never been to this part of Wales before, even though I was actually born in Wales, but haven't really explored it too much, so it was absolutely lovely. Got pretty lucky with the weather as well. Um, it started raining really heavily as soon as we were on the car, but it was pretty good apart from that. So yeah, on our way back now, um, and then trying to navigate all these very, very windy roads. Hey guys, uh, so I realized I was finishing up editing my vlog and then I realized I forgot to do an outro, just classic Amy, I never ever remember to do outros. Um, so this is me doing the outro. I realized I didn't actually vlog that much in Wales and I didn't actually say this when we were there because I think we're actually still recovering, but the journey to Wales was like so much longer and more hazard filled than we anticipated. I think it was supposed to take about three hours and it ended up taking a little bit over five. Um, there is a fuel shortage in the UK at the moment. I, I don't even know why, but it's very, very difficult to get fuel, or at least it was then. Um, so we tried, I think it was like three or four different petrol stations, eventually found one like right before we were like, we're going to have to turn back because obviously we didn't want to get stuck in Wales. Um, so I did that and that kind of took us on like a detour. Then we got to Wales and our path was blocked because of an accident. So we had to turn back again. Um, but then it like rerouted us to this really random kind of path and it was a proper road um but there were just sheep everywhere i know it sounds like a hilarious cliche that there are just sheep everywhere in wales but they really were everywhere and they weren't cordoned off either so they were like in the roads like literally everywhere so we were driving super carefully there were cars behind us also driving really carefully but then the sheep like they began to have a fight and one butted into another sheep and like pushed it in front of our car so we had to swear like hoping other cars wouldn't crash into us and honestly it was just like the most traumatic journey so by the time we got there we were so tired in need of wine and we were just like oh my goodness like, we just need to eat something so we didn't do that much on the first night but then we made the most of it on the second day and just kind of potted around and it was just so beautiful we had a yummy lunch and it was really really nice it was just slightly more difficult to get there than we anticipated um but that is why i didn't vlog too much on the first day Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the little footage I got um, of that and also everything else. I know it was a little bit scatty as per usual with all my vlogs, um, but thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I will try and include links to everything relevant in the description section. If I miss anything out though, then leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.